What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through today's MLB slate. Coming off a really good slate for me, uh, both NBA and MLB. MLB, I finished, I played the one single, the 1777 yesterday, and I finished third for 20K, which was really nice. Not a tournament I, I quite was going to win, but it would have been nice to get second if not for that, the cash for steal up four in the ninth inning. Um, but hey, I'll take it. Happy to have a good result. I'll be on the right track with baseball finally, finally turning the corner to towards profitability after a really, really rough start. And uh, yeah, so it was great for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk through the lineup real quick. I, I did talk about um, it a little bit, what, what I was going to do on air with you. So uh, I'll share my screen and then Sheets, uh, we'll jump into your night in uh, just a second. But um, yeah, I, you know, we were talking on air and, and I said, if, I'm, if you're going to build a five-man stack, you, you would need to include, in my opinion, one, preferably two of LeCastro, Gonzalez, and Higashioka. It's the only way to try and get different a little bit. The fact that Gonzalez outscored Rizzo, who was, you know, they're, they're the, the popular choice to go with them, and that uh, Machado as a one-off really paid off, even though he's fairly high-owned. I think they were a lot more in combo San Diego stacks that didn't quite perform as well. It's a very weird slate. There was only, like, I believe there was either three or four total home runs hit on the whole slate. Um, it's going to happen with that, with these bad weather situations. So, uh, we, you know, we, we sort of knew it. Um, but we did talk through the pitching. I said I was going to play Verlander, and I was deciding between Peralta. Either one would have worked fine. I just... Price wise could get this in better. And I, I did a five, two, one, which is a pretty standard stack for me, but I did, uh, I did do the wraparound and it worked out and uh, happy it paid off. Yeah. Sheets, any thoughts or anything before we jump over to uh, your Yeah, I, I, I was glad that, uh, that you profited off the Marvin. That's always good when we went off Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and he goes, sure, these are, those are two of my favorites. These are two of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I was, I was glad you didn't play. Um, I was, I was wondering what you were going to do about the Lo Castro. <laughs> Um, because I, it doesn't, it's not like your normal, you know, I think that's the type of play that you want to include, like you said, in stacks, but maybe not in one-offs. So, so I guess it yeah. would have worked either way. Yeah. Yeah. And Le, Le Castro with the speed upside is, I mean, the stolen base yeah. the were really hurt. Obviously he tried to run again and he's, he's, he does have that upside, but I was, uh, I was going for, I wanted to get maximum power upside and obviously yep. paid off for judge didn't pay off as much for Stanton, but still good enough. So happy to have a good day and ready to get on to today. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So what are you, uh, why don't you pull up your screen and we'll go game by game here. Um, I will, also had a really I, nice NBA night, by the way, which I, I just wanted to, t I, I really, I, we, we talked through some things before the show. And one thing I was felt pretty confident on was that I was wrong about the one game I was wrong about was Toronto. And, uh, and, and I, I thought that would be more competitive. Uh, but the one thing I was sure about, or I really liked was the, was the Boucher idea, especially with his ownership. And it was Boucher or Precious for, or Thad for me, we're going to be in all my lineups and the Boucher lineups really paid off and he was 9% owned in the, in the big one on FanDuel. So it got me, even with OG and Anubi, I, I still managed to, to finish in the, what, somewhere between sixth and eighth. I can't remember which one. Anyway. I think this is an interesting slate because there, there are guys, there's a, well, we'll get to it, but there are guys that you could play, but then. The question would be, why would you need to, you know? Um, and I, I, I think that there's a couple of um, couple of stacks that kind of stand out, a couple of pitchers that kind of stand out. And as usual, it's a nice big slate that, you know, provides opportunities to pivot if you need to, if you want to. And once again, uh, let's pull up your screen and so we can go. Oh, going to, and, once, and once again, I don't know, you know, I don't know what they what the Reds did to deserve their pricing, but uh Going in now, they're going to Colorado and no one's under over 3k. I mean, like, it's like it's very strange, a ridiculous. Um, but anyway, uh, we will we'll see about that when we get to it. Um, uh, I guess we'll start with Boston, Baltimore. Yeah, go ahead. Why don't you, why don't you, uh, yeah, so here, here it is kind of right off the bat. Um, apparently, this, this Braddish is pretty good, um, for Baltimore and he's coming up to make a totally legit start at 4k. And, and I would have complete interest in this if, if I, if I needed it. Um, and I just don't know if I need it, you know, it's like, like with, with the hitting that's available and whatever, I, I, this is what I did first. Like I put like Bradish, for example, in like a lineup with one of the other top pitchers. And then I just tried to, sp I even try to spend all the money. I almost couldn't even do it, you know? So, so, and then I, I put, then I replaced Bradish with one of the other top pitchers. And it really didn't change much, you know. So, right, right, so it's right. it was it's a typical example, you know, of, of, of something that may might not even be a good play, but even if it is a good play, you probably you don't even have to play it, you know. So 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 for me, that would be my my one opinion. Uh, well, I have a couple. One is that 
I think Bradish is in fact a good a good point per dollar play. And 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 uh, if you do have just some desire to just pay up for literally everything, and it's the only way you could do it is to play him. But I don't even see that being the, the need. Uh, the other thing I have is that I do have a little weird interest in a secondary stack as for Baltimore, and, and um, it's probably not the greatest idea in the world considering you know the the bullpen game and Rich Hill and how can all that stuff, uh, but just the way my numbers look right now, looking for pivots and looking for stuff. Um, I do have Baltimore just kind of listed as a secondary stack, and that's pretty much what happens. Yeah, and I mean, in general, you always like targeting games in, in Baltimore. It, it makes some sense. Um, what, so we're sure Rich Hill is going to be just limited. Is there a reason? I mean, well, it, we says, just, it says here projected opener and how for a long reliever. I mean, but I mean, he's been pitching four innings every time. It doesn't really make sense. Well, let's see if there's any actual manager speak here. Yeah, uh, it doesn't say anything. Okay, because I, I don't know. I, I I'm sort of, it. I, I don't mind if you. I, I don't. I don't love the idea of stacking anybody in this in this game with this big slate. Uh, Bradish, I would keep. I would temper your expectations on pitches. Um, you know, he, he's pitched 15 innings, and that's over three starts in the minors. Um, it's not like he's like stretched out to where he's going to pitch along into the game. So. I wouldn't be expecting 20 fantasy points from him, but you can probably get 10 or 12. Um, yeah. And I think that's reasonable. So I, I am on board with the radish, uh, with the radish play. I just uh, do again, like you said, do we need it? Uh, Houston and Toronto. I, I have like almost no interest in this game. I always like to get a low on Toronto bat. So I can always take a, a shot on a couple of those guys. Uh, Vlad uh, Springer, Bichette, Collins, even Guriel, you could throw, you know, I, I don't want to stack uh, against either of these guys particularly, but I do think that you could make an argument for, uh, for some bats on both sides. I just am not overly excited about it. Yeah. I, I would have um, Houston as a very like secondary type of stat. I would have no, I, I on the numbers have no uh, real desire to play these pitchers. Although I will say that I, I, I see variations where Kikuchi at 6,400 is, is, is worth doing. Um, it's almost but, like uh, I didn't even look at his price because because who they're playing. That you know what? That actually is probably a, a reasonable play. Sheets. Yeah. If again, if we need it, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, because Houston, like you, like you know, like you brought up, like was it yesterday or the day before? I mean, probably every day. <laughs> who the hell does Houston have anyway? You know what right, I mean? Like, right. it's not that big a deal, you know. Uh, so I mean, with 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 no Altuve, Correa gone or whatever. I mean, yeah, they got some, they got some some players still, but it's not Springer. like. First of all, what's his name? Uh, Springer I mean, and Tucker usually doesn't hit lefties all that well, you know. Yeah. So, so, so what do you got? You know, so you get Kikuchi, who's every once in a while puts up a game at sixty four hundred. I mean, yeah, if you want to do it, I, I'll, I'll totally, I'll totally support it. I'll keep him on my list of guys to consider, but I don't think that you know, I, I think there's better options. <laughs> but it's interesting. Um, all right, so so uh, anything for you though here? Uh, in Angels White Sox now. Oh, you don't want to do that one anymore. I, I, I was just curious if you, if you liked any hitting or anything. Well, that's what I said. I said Houston is a very, very marginal secondary stack, but then I kind of, but but not, 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 I didn't even really get to Houston much at all, uh, Toronto much at all. So maybe Houston, like down the list and stacks, if I get to it, maybe, and then maybe some Kikuchi if I feel like it. But, but, but I, I'm with you that in general, I think the game's a throw, uh, throw away. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. All right, let's uh, jump over to a game where there is – I will tell you guys again, I will remind everybody, do not play hitters in this game, okay? Um, you've got – it's cold. There's 15 miles an hour wind blowing in, and you have two pitchers that are that I, that I love on the mound. Um, I love both these guys. I'm very concerned about the early strikeout rate for Syndergaard, but I'm willing just to let it go, bet on the long-term talent. He's – you know, getting back, he's rounding back into to form. He threw 88 pitches in his last start. Uh, he's been really good in real life. Like he's given up, you know, he's, he's, he's gone into the sixth and, and, and pitched full, a full six in one of those starts. Um, I, I think that there's an opportunity to play him here. Uh, I think that both these guys are really interesting. So I am high on both of them. I think that Giolito, you feel a little safer because the strikeout upside, because it, it's just weird to see Syndergaard and us be worried about his strikeout upside. That's just, Something about that feels funny. Um, I, I really like both these guys. Uh, just concerned with Giolito, how long they're going to let him go. Yeah, I'm also concerned that that Giolito's going against Mike Trout <laughs> and uh, uh, and probably Otani and 
Rendon. Is Rendon playing? I don't know. It's, it's uh, uh, but what, but what you have is like you said, you have the, you have the, you have the weather in your favor also. Um, you know, when I, when I was building lineups, I was thinking about my pitching and stuff like that. Um, I it just didn't, it was, it was hard to, 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 to click, uh, Giolito at 9,500 against, you know, but, but then again, he is one of the but best. Why do you think all this stuff about the angels? I'm confused. Nothing really. I mean, nothing really. I mean, but he's 95, he's 95. But why? They're, they're, you know, what are they? The 14th best offense in baseball, the 12th best. I don't yeah, know. I know. I know. But I, I need to, I need to get there at 9,500. Okay. Um, that's fine. I actually like, I, I think, I think I might like Nola better. I maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll get we'll get to all that stuff, but um, yeah, I have I do have Giolito as do I have ranked number one. Um, let me just let me just see. I think so. Uh, no, I don't. I, I have him ranked like 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 number two. Um, yeah, as far as a spend, I don't even really see spend ups, but I have I have him ranked number two overall. And uh, hitting wise, like you said, uh, no reason to get to any of this. I did not get to to to, to Noah Syndergaard, by the way, and that's uh. That's something I want to revisit because, like you said, um, the, the, obviously the long-term talent is there, and if you get you get you get him in a good weather game <laughs> for him, uh, he's probably not going to be that highly owned. Um, the, nothing's happened to him. All the only thing that you the only thing you can do with him is that you can. They've run like crazy. He's given up somehow seven stolen bases, and he's only allowed I think eight base runners. Well, so, it's just uh, you know, just that's, don't that's let anybody happened. on base then. That's fine. No, but he's been unbelievable. I mean, he's I mean he's been he's been really good. He just hasn't yeah. struck any struck, he's not striking any be out, but he's been really good. Like he hasn't, I mean he's given up four runs in 18 innings. That's really good. <laughs> um Nola and McGill. Actually, I first have the next game. I have a bunch of and, uh, and and Kluber. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, my bad. All right. Um, why don't you tell me thoughts your thoughts on that one? I will call the right game up now. Yeah, I unfortunately did not even have. Actually, I did. I did have Bundy. Why? Why am I not getting more of more of this? So I'm not really getting. I absolutely hate Bundy every time he pitches. I feel like I don't know what this is. They do right, and all, you know, and, you know, and all he does. I mean, he's got 20, 23, and eight. You know what I mean? Like yeah. against the White Sox at Boston. You know what I mean? Like so, I don't know what the guy's got to do. Um, but uh, according to the numbers, he doesn't look that great. Um, and I'm not really getting a Kluber at ninety two hundred. Um, he looks better on FanDuel for whatever that's worth, but mm-hmm. I think that's because everybody's a little closer over there. So for me, I don't, I think this game is a little, I, I, I want to say it's a cross up, but I just kind of want to just play Bundy regardless of what any of the numbers say. I mean, you know, 8,300 is might be, I think that's fair. I don't know. What do you like Bundy here at all? I will be playing a little bit of Bundy and I will be stacking Tampa Bay some. I've okay. seen this so many times. If I, you want a low owned stack today, we, we know the bus path is in there for Bundy. We know he can get, you know, his control has been really good so far to start the season. Um, he's still not striking people out much though. Uh, I mean, it's been, I guess he's been okay. Um, I, I, I think he, you know, a guy who's, who's going to, who, when he gets hit, when he gets wild, he gets hit hard, he gets hard and big time. So I do have some interest in, in trying to stack up these, uh, the, the, the Rays may be more of a secondary stack, but guys like Brandon Lowe, uh, Wander Franco, Rosa Reina, um, depending on how the lineup shakes out, I guess you could include anybody else. But those guys, those three I like quite a bit. So I, I think this is the first spot where I've actually had any interest in any bats. And I, I do think Tampa Bay makes a little bit of sense. Um, but Brandon Lowe, even if you're not playing Tampa Bay, I think just matches up well with Bundy. So I would take shots there. And then you get another game where there's no hitting. I mean, it's crazy if you look at these total sheets. I've never, I mean, baseball is nuts, okay? There was nine no-hitters, what, last, I think there was, was there nine no-hitters last year or something crazy like that? Or I can't remember. Yeah, it was. I think it was last year there was nine no-hitters, something like that. And uh, the whole 80s, in all of the 80s, I think there was 10. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's just, it's just a weird game now. Sorry. Uh, what are your thoughts on Nola, McGill? Uh, what do you want to do here? Well, I don't want to play... McGill, um, but I do want to play Nola. He, I have Nola right now, a little bit under Giolito, um, all else being equal. Um, the Mets are not bad, um, uh, kind of through and through. I mean, they've, they've been, uh, they're, they, they really beefed up their lineup. Uh, I do like them in general. 
but I certainly like Nola on today's slate. I mean, him again, just be, just below Giolito. Yeah. And uh, I'm not really getting too much of the hitting. So like you said, <laughs> um, so some Nola, not much McGill, and that's pretty much it. Um, I like both of the pitchers. Uh, I, I don't really, you, you know, I, I gotta ask you about McGill. Why do you, do you seem not to like him ever? Is no, there, just he's 90, it's 9,800. I mean, yeah. I just don't really think, you know, it's been, it's been every bit as good or better than these guys. And I feel like we don't ever, you know, I don't know. It just always feels like we're not interested, but I, I have some interest in him. I, I don't know where I'm going to, he's going to end up. I do. I do at the moment have Nola rated higher, but I don't think it's about a big margin. Um, again, another game where it's, you know, 60 degrees cross field winds, but very windy. A lot of wind it, it, is, it, is, it is, it is, it is very brisk here. Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 a, not an ideal hitting situation. So Definitely interested in both pitchers, uh, at least a little bit. Um, I think this is another spot. Okay, so we're with Atlanta, Texas. I think I, I think I would take some shots with Atlanta, but again, I don't love stacking on a big state so, slates. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm sort of debating whether I want to stack Atlanta. Let me put it that way. I, I, I don't know where I'm st- landing on it, but I do think that they're interesting. I think they have some cheap options in their in their lineup. You can go use the bottom of the order and. I think they're 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 a reasonable ish idea to stack, but I'm not like in love with it. I actually prefer the idea of Tampa Bay better. So, any thoughts here, Sheets? Yeah, you're not getting Acuna in today's lineup. Um, I think they announced that already, um, which obviously makes them you know a little less run producing. Uh, you do have what do you got? You got Spencer Howard and 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 Garrett Richards for Texas. Yeah. Um, I think Atlanta's probably in play though. Um, you like any um you like any Ian Anderson? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't get to him either. I was just wondering. Well, I um, like him better than he's being like, you know, no one's gonna play him. He's got upside, I guess. I, he's okay. I just don't like him quite as much as the other guys in his price range. Okay. That doesn't mean. What are you gonna do? Like I I don't think anybody's gonna play Nestor, and he's certainly, you know shown his upside and he's been really really good he's the uh, nuts <laughs> i mean should, should, what, what are your thoughts here what are you what are you doing with this situation yeah um i'm probably just not going to do it though um at 10k i just think those guys that are cheaper are just are just just better um and i would go right back obviously i would go right back to the yankees I mean, listen if, if you think of it in terms of uh of the way I analyze the NBA or something, I probably wouldn't, you know, like 10 runs and then travel the next day, but, but the end, but the, they travel every day. You know? so, but they also scored 10. I mean, they've scored 10. They scored 10 runs every day. Last, so yeah. So in the last three, um, but it's a little bit of a, it's a park shift. Um, it's a park shift into Kansas city. And I would, I wouldn't count on them scoring 10 runs again, especially, you know, Bubik's not the worst in the world. Um, but I do have the Yankees rated. Where do I have them in, in within that top five, you know, outside of the, Outside of the Coors game, it's again, it's really nothing, nothing earth shattering. I'm gonna like the Braves, like you said, probably the Dodgers and the Coors game, <laughs> and then and then the Yankees. So so I, I definitely have the Yankees as, as up there. Um, probably would be more inclined to fade them just because of my pain in the neck about that, about the ten runs and then coming out the next day. I don't know, but they certainly listen. They're certainly one of the top stacks, um, and I don't know if I could do Cortez at ten k. Yeah, I'm considering the Cortez. I, I am totally in on the Yankees again, assuming that they're going to be owned like what I, what I think they're going to be owned. Um, you have it's 73 degrees. It's humid in Kansas City and the winds are blowing out to left, which just makes it perfect for the righties against the Jesus. left. <laughs> I mean, like, really, so, 17 miles an hour to left. I, I, I'll, I'll be back in the Yankees. Um, I will just I mean, I'll tell you what, the guy who the one guy who really does not look good at the plate um, is Josh Donaldson. He's starting to pick it up a little bit. But his, his, some of it, I don't know, he doesn't look like the same guy quite to me, but I still am probably going to even include him. I would like to get a lot of exposure to the Yankees tonight. I think that they are a perfect pivot and they actually have a real offense uh, that we like, has guys we want to play like Judge and Stanton and LeMayhew. And I guess we can talk about maybe at some point Josh Donaldson and then you can always include the lefty lefty if the ownership gets too high and the other guys with the Gallo um, or Glaber. So I, I like I like the Yankees. I like a full stack. I like a mini stack. I like it. I like all parts of it. But I probably would lean a little bit more towards a three man power stack. Uh, I feel like the just the the hitting conditions for seem to be really really good for power. Um, so 
that's where I'm at. And, and there is some rain concerns in this game. So just we'll keep an eye on it when I, uh, with you guys live at six. And I guess I'll ask you now, Sheets, are you going to be with, with us at six? Uh, I, should, I should be around at six. Yeah. Awesome. If you are great, if not, I'll, I can handle it. Yeah. Um, so. All right, so so we did we did that one. Um, and what one do you see so you have next? We're looking at Milwaukee, Chicago. Yep. Um, nothing as far as the pitching goes. Um, and then I have the best I can do for you is is is, is Milwaukee like on Fanduel as like a secondary stack over there. Aside from that, I don't I don't have much for you in this game. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of. It, it feels sort of like I should have some interest in something. And I, I, I like games in Milwaukee. The, the total seems a little too low. You were playing a dome. I don't know why the total should be this low quite. Um, like Hendricks is just good enough. As you would say, he gets, he has tricks. Um, there'd be another slate. He's at this low ownership. I would maybe take a shot on one of these two pitchers, but I don't think I'm going to do it. So I'm probably just staying away from this game. All right. St. Louis and Arizona sheets. What do you got for me? Um, speaking of which, speaking of tricks, it's, it's, it's the good tricks versus the bad tricks. I, I think, I don't know. So, so Wainwright, Wainwright, uh, has, has, has tricks and just, just mowing people down. I think sometimes, um, I shouldn't say that. I mean, he, he pitched, he pitched, um, uh, what was it? Was it? In his, what was his last game? Was it? No, two games. I forget. Um, he had, he had a decent game. Um, and then it's like on off on off. It seems. I don't know. I'm not going to probably do this. And Bumgarner, no thanks. And the hitting, no thanks either. I don't know. It's, it's turning into a really boring long slate here. I think it's actually good, though. Like, I think yeah. we should, maybe we'll be quicker. On, I, could, I could be quicker on them. But, like, I, we should just say what we're doing and what we're not doing. If you don't like yeah, something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing any of this. <laughs> so I, I like uh, mini St. Louis stack. Um, big shocker. <laughs> um I, I, I like the, the particularly the Tyler O'Neill uh, everyone. Well, the Tyler O'Neill, Goldschmidt, and and uh, Arenado would be my preferences. I don't mind Carlson or Edmund either. If you want to make it a full thing, I do like them. They will be one of the teams that I'm playing at least as my secondary staff. Okay. Um, and I don't think I'm getting to Wainwright, but you know, weirder it, 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 Arizona. If there's a team to take anybody against, it'd be Arizona. All right, Cheats, here's why I can I can have some love for these other games. I'm not all that excited about this game in Colorado. Um, I think if you play it, you should be playing. Is that, is that, is that you're there, right? Yep. Okay. I think if you play it, you should be playing the lefties. There's 20 mile an hour winds blowing in from left. Um, sure, the, the weather does change there more than most places, so we don't know what it's going to be as of game time. 20, actually, 24 miles an hour of wind projected at, uh, at 59 degrees. This feels like a perfect spot to try to fade cores. And I will probably primarily be doing that even with maybe the exception of using a couple of the, 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 the cheap reds here and there, um, just because they're a little too cheap. And I would lean on the lefties though, because of that wind coming in from left. I mean, the only thing you can do, I mean, if you, if you want, I mean, I, I, I thought of this before we went on, I was looking at these prices. Yeah. You, you could do kind of like a, let's say full stack, whatever, just play, play your favorite five reds you know, starting with, with Vado, whatever it is, and, and leave like 3,000 on the table or something like that. Like, that's that, that's that's something you could do. I, I don't think there's any reason to do anything like that. I don't think that anybody's going to play the Reds. I don't think that this game is going to be at owned. I really don't. You don't think so? No, I think people are people. Hunter Green is the number one, was, has been the number one prospect in baseball for, or was the number one prospect for most of his life since he was uh, like 13 years old. I've heard about this kid. Um, Sensatella, as we've pointed out about 100 million times in the past, doesn't give up, uh, doesn't have the, the blow up games that he's ever projected to at home. Oddly enough, he does on the road a lot. He struggles, doesn't pitch, he pitches much, much better on the road sometimes. Um, he's not as bad. So I would say that he's a guy who knows how to pitch in the stadium. Uh, there's just plenty of reasons for me to fade it, but I, I get like using any of these cheap pieces from the, the Reds. I just would try to encourage you to do it with lefties. Yeah, I mean, that sounds good to me. And obviously, we don't like. Hold on one second. Sorry. Anyways, I was just saying that I just don't, I, I'm just not that into this game. Um, if the weather changes, you know, I'll, I'll, it's going to be hard for me not to resist some of these guys, but I don't think people are going to play that much Cincinnati. I really don't. Um, I think Naquin will be owned. I think India will be owned. I think Vado will be owned. And I don't think anybody else, maybe Moustakas, depending on where they hit him. Um, and I think that on the, on the other side, I don't, I don't expect people to play these 
these Rockies, people are got to be a little smarter. I, I don't even like this total. I, I, you know, 10 and a half feels high to me. These are not going to be, I don't think they're going to be the most popular. And I, I just don't, I don't know. I don't want to do it personally. What do you think of, uh, what do you think of uh, Hunter Green? Like that at all? I, I considered it for a little bit. I believe in the talent. I just don't see any reason to, to get that creative on the slate. Um, he runs into any trouble. They're going to probably not, you know, he'll have, a, he'll have a pretty quick leash if he does. Um, pitched really well against the Dodgers. I was really impressed uh, earlier this year. And uh, I think he's going to be really good. But I, I think for right now, I'm, I just don't see the need to go that crazy. There's a lot of good mid upper tier ish. And like, it, like we can still use some of this value. You know what I mean? Because I'm saying I don't want to stack this game doesn't mean I won't have a, a Naquin Vado combination somewhere in, as, you know, for value or India and throw, make it a three man or something like that. I, I could see myself doing that, but I just am probably not fully stacking unless the ownership gets too egregious. Then I'll then I'll just stack the hell out of the lefties in that game. But that's all I'm playing as the lefties as of right now. I'm not not having guys hitting in the 24 to an hour wind. <laughs> um, do you have any different takes on, on this one? You didn't, you know, you mentioned the thing, the idea about the Reds and leaving money on the yeah, table. Yeah, I mean, I have the Reds in Colorado as you know the as top five stacks. Yeah. And, um, and if they're not going to be owned, I'm probably I'm just pro- I'm probably going to play them. Um, yeah. That's kind of where I am. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, again, I, 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 I can't do the win thing. Like, it's just like, it's almost like a, I just don't see how the, how the path is there for some guys that hit home runs into win like that. It just doesn't happen. And that was what happened yesterday. You know, we talked about it in the morning. So like, I was like, I have to basically cross off all these games because the weather is so bad for hitting. Right. But there was a, one home run hit by lefties though, when the wind was blowing into the, from right. Uh, I think it was Kepler. Um, all right. Uh, Cleveland and is it Cleveland and Oakland that you have? Yeah. So this is where I'm going to get into trouble, I think. So right now I have uh, Montas rated as the top overall value on the slate um, at 8,100. And I also have him rated at about 30% ownership. And I'm seeing him against that, this, this Cleveland team that, that I've, I've, I've grown quite a fondness for as far as just taking shots on uh, hitting wise. So I'm probably going to end up with some of it. Um, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, in, in line, as to say Giolito Nola or whatever it is, I no problem taking a shot with Cleveland. It's not obviously it's not ideal, right? But I just I just know I'm probably going to end up doing it. Um, but uh, that doesn't change the fact that I do have Montas rated as top overall value right now, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything for Savale. I don't have anything for Oakland on the hitting side. Savale, I think, is a really good uh, sneaky option tonight. Uh, Ooh, again, this A's team is the worst team in baseball, probably. Uh, Maybe the worst lineup we've ever. Sheldon, the the Nuse guy they have, literally couldn't make the top twenty seven for the Dodgers roster. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he's batting, second, you know what I mean? Tony Kemp had, had batted ninth his whole life, and he's batting first. And every everybody else, no one wants. They got they have Sean Murphy and Seth Brown. Those guys, those guys are okay. But Stephen Piscotty is no longer a major league player. It's just. So I'm going to want to take shots. The only question is how long will they let Savale go? And I, I, I always like being contrarian, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the Indians tonight. I don't like stacking against Montas. He doesn't give up enough power. He doesn't walk enough guys. Um, if you're going to play anything, I would just say, Hey, if you want to get different, just play any one of these guys or preferably Jose Ramirez, because that guy is just the nuts. And nobody ever plays him. (laughs) Nobody ever plays him. He costs so much. And then next thing, if you want two home runs and two stolen bases, he's a good guy to play. That's it. That's all you you can count on. Yeah, seriously. He had one game where I think he was like 0 for 4 for me, but he somehow got on base a couple times. He stole four bases. I was like, oh, Those are the best, like him and Acuna, like guys like that. (laughs) They almost like get mad about if you play also those like especially Akuna when you walk him he just wants to go <laughs> like he's just right. pissed off at you right he wants to swing um anyway all right Chiefs let's talk about uh the Dodgers here because as I'm sure many of you figure the Dodgers are one of the top stacks probably my top stack as of right now I will say it is not it is it, it was 90 degrees like three days ago and now it's like 60 degrees. It's Dodger Stadium at 60 degrees is not ideal. There is nice wind going out to right center. Um, that's something. Uh, but again, it's it's not. These are not ideal Dodger, you know, hitting conditions. That's not, it's about all I have to say bad about it. You get Detroit on a road trip. Who's I mean, with Tyler Alexander, don't I, whatever. Tyler Alexander sucks. And the only thing that sucks is the Dodgers occasionally struggle with these weird lefties. But 
uh, the bullpen's terrible. The team is terrible, Detroit. Uh, I'm I'm completely on board with the Dodger stack, and I don't mind some one-offs like Javi Baez on the other side, by the way. Uh, Jonathan Scope, if he was batting a little higher in the order, maybe. But Derek Hill's leading off at 2.1. I think that's a reasonable value. Um, so I think there's a lot of plays in this game, but most of them just going to – go for the Dodger stack and just say, look, if you think it's going to be owned a little too much, nobody's playing Freddie Freeman tonight. That's my guess. Nobody's playing Max Muncie tonight. They're not going to play the lefties, play the lefties. Doesn't matter. Play, play Bellinger batting eighth if you want to. It really doesn't matter for these guys. Um, so that would be my, my recommendation. Are you, gonna, are you going to get Alberto in at 2K? Uh, probably no, 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 we need to. No, no, I'm saying I'm actually going to be playing. I got 2K. Maybe, but I, I don't, yeah, it wouldn't be the, probably not my kind of a play for a guy who's not going to be around very long. I mean, he might, he might only play like two, he might have one or he might only have one at bat. Like he could end up with a full game of at bats, but you'd think that most likely Detroit's going to bring in a, a righty after the lefty because most people, that's what they, that's what they do. Right. But I, I don't really see any, I'm not, certainly not trying to get to him at 2K. Oh, God, my uh -oh. arm. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. We're testing out the fire alarm here, which those of you guys have watched me for a while, you know it happens quite a bit. So, well, that's kind of a warning sign. I don't, I don't like that. It means maybe, maybe we're still allowed to play the Dodgers, even though your 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 building is trying to alert hey, you. If you want to look for the fade now, I don't mind if you want to find the fade. Yeah. Now. I, I wouldn't blame you. Well, this game kind of tilts me because because the pitching. I I keep forgetting which of these Tyler Andersons and Tyler Alexanders and Tyler Naquins or all these Tylers, these pitchers. That, that there was one that was supposed to be bad that you said was not that bad. Some of them you said was okay, but worse than whatever. I get them all confused. So is 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 the Tyler... No, 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 no Tyler who pitches for Detroit is that worth talking about. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Tariq, Scooble. There's the Scooble. It's not, it's right. not Tyler. It's Tariq. It's, uh, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Tyler Anderson is fine. But he wouldn't be lucky. He wouldn't be pitching for the Dodgers if he wasn't fine. Okay. But you never have um, to worry about a pitcher being bad for the, the Dodgers. don't have bad pitching. Yeah, so I like the I like the Dodgers. They're one of my top stacks for sure. And I think with Acuna out, uh, Dodgers rate is the top stack overall. Um, and yeah, that's splitting hairs, but whatever. That's nice. what, it's what it is. What it is. So so I do have them. Uh, and again, so maybe I'll be like, oh well, let's just see and not worry about sports for a few hours. And then the Dodgers can show up at ten o'clock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like oh, yep. winning zero, winning zero, winning zero. You know, fine by me. Hopefully, it's one of those things where I have like a grand total of like. 60 fantasy points by two pitchers and nobody else having started yet. You know what right. I mean? That's, that's right. like, I love those. <laughs> like, those great. How do you got, you got 60. Oh no. But then you got all X's in your, you know what I mean? In your, uh, the rating of your lineups. That's when I like to look, I'm like, if you see a little locks thing with zero, that's not good. A little X thing with zero. That's good. You know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, I, I think I'm into that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm with you. Um, uh, for what it's worth, um, here my 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 favorites. Oh, did we, did we get? Oh, we have to talk about the last game. Sorry, shoots. Um, we do yeah, actually. Go ahead, go San Francisco and Washington. I, well, I mean, what's, the weather, in San, what's the weather in San Francisco, and yeah. why am I not playing Alex Wood? Uh, yeah, Alex Wood's fine. There's nothing. Else oh, all right. I'm just I'm just asking. Yeah. I mean, you have special. You have, you have you you usually have extra emphasis one way or another on San Francisco people. Um, yeah, and you're Wood usually right on them. So I just figured I would just ask you, you know, I, I have, I have wood rated below all these other guys, but, um, but Washington is not great. And, uh, if you get the weather the way you want in San Francisco, which is usually always a good thing for, for pitching, right? yeah. um, maybe he's a good pivot off of all of it. I don't think he's that big of a pivot. I don't think he's that good. Oh, you think he's going to get played? Okay. I mean, I don't think he's like, I mean, like, it's just, how are we playing him over Montas? Like, well, exactly. That's the, you know. But the, it doesn't huh? matter with pitching. You just got to. Yeah. Do um, you're All right. Sorry, guys. This fire alarm. Thank goodness we'll be out of here shortly. Uh, but the fire alarm is really annoying. So, Sheets, I, I, I'm fine with Wood to go back to it, but I don't think, I, I'm not playing him over Syndergaard, Nola, Gio, and Montas. And those are my four favorites. And I think I could even make an art, you know, we, we, you know, we were talking just a minute while well, in between, I could make an argument for McGill or Cortez too. You um, could, you could really get some good um, leverage, by the way, with that Syndergaard play, by the way, I think. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about this. <laughs> well, not even a minute. This is fire alarm <laughs> testing has just gone, gotten completely out of control. Um, the last, the last game that, you know, I, I, I do think the Giants are an interesting contrarian stack. I probably won't get to them today. 
Um, and I think Alex Wood is fine, but probably not one of my favorites, not one of my favorite four. Well, well, we got to talk about something else, by the way, is that, you know, whenever, when, when a TV show does like a zillion seasons, it's always kind of hard to like, just continue to be really good or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I've watched that the first three episodes of Better Call Saul. I'm freaking just mesmerized every freaking episode. I mean, I don't, I don't know why, but it's just every single one of them. Yeah. Better Call Saul, you were saying you love it. it, it it's just, it's been awesome. It's great to hear. I, I have to catch up on it and I'm looking forward to doing that all during the next pandemic or not really, but uh, during the next period of time where I just have a bunch of free time to watch a, a show like that. Cause I really do like the show, but it's. Well, it's only three episodes. I mean, I, I only watched three episodes. I missed, last, I missed the second part of last, second half of last season. Oh, okay. okay. So I, I've, I've like, I'm like saving it up for, you know, for a weird day or six. I days. think Ozark redrops today, I think. Yeah, there's another one I'm going to have to watch in a, in a binge one, too. I only watched the, first, the beginning of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so guys, well, I'm going to get out here before my fire alarm starts going crazy again. Uh, favorite pitchers, Gio, Syndergaard, Nola, uh, Montas for me. Favorite stacks, Yankees, Dodgers, little mini St. Louis, little little bit of Tampa Bay. Um, and honestly, really surprised I don't like more more stacks. So I, I, like, I like making the slate small sheets. Anything you want to add before we get out of here? Yeah, Homer Homer City, Yankees, do Yankees and Dodgers. Uh, and uh, Coors, Atlanta, and Montas, Giolito, Nola. And uh, I, love, I, like, I really like your Syndergaard player. Awesome. All right, good luck to everybody, and we will see, I'll see you at 60 soon.